Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to uh, backup and clone your Mac using a carbon copy cloner. Uh, you might ask, why do we need to clone uh, your hard drive? By using this uh, carbon copy cloner, we're going to make an exact image of your existing hard drive to another hard drive. And to use the same, you just need one spare hard drive. And it can be attached to your Mac directly or you can even use an external USB uh, portable hard drives that we find. The second question is why do we need to do that? Uh, just a couple of minutes ago, uh, Mac OS X Lion was launched. And as you know, it's a completely new OS. Let's say you have installed Lion and uh, after two or three days, you realize that one important software that you need uh, are working no, uh, does not work as expected with Lion. I'm sure the developers will update all the softwares in the future, but you might get stuck. And uh, if you want to go back to your own snow, old Snow Leopard, it might be a painful process to go back. You need to reinstall everything and go back. By cloning your hard drive, you can just directly go back to your old system. So I would uh, suggest that if you're moving to a new operating system or doing a major revamp, uh, you need to clone your drive. And uh, doing that is really easy and I'm going to show you how. You can just go and download this carbon cop copy cloner from this URL. It's BUM bich.com bombach and uh, carbon copy cloner is a free app to download just click on here and download the same i have already downloaded and then let me switch over to it before uh, opening the app you just uh, connect your external hard drive to your mac if after connecting it you get a notification by time machine to initialize it just cancel the time machine setup we do not want to do that also make sure that now we're going to format the uh, extra hard external hard drive that you have attached so if there is any data on that just back it up now let me open the carbon copy cloner and this is the interface you see there are two panes basically this one is the source disk and other is the target disk in the source disk we select our mac os current mac os x uh, in, uh, drive and that is Snow Leopard. My drive is Snow Leopard 1 terabyte. I just select that. And on the target, we select the backup drive. Before doing that, just open Disk Utility. And let's say you're attached. This is my 80 GB uh, external drive to which we are going to clone the system. Um, just go over to the drive and go to the partition tab. As I have told you, uh, we're going to erase the entire information from this external drive. Make sure you have selected the correct drive, the external drive. Select on the partition. We are going to just make one partition and I'll name it as backup drive. Make sure that this uh, format is Mac OS X journaled and in the, go in the options tab and select this GUID partition table and apply OK. It will ask you for the partition. Just click on the partition and it will take a minute or so to partition the drive. After partition, again, you might get a prompt from Time Machine uh, that it might use it for a backup. Cancel that if you get that. Now that's done. Let's open up Carbon Copy Cloner. Now uh, in the source disk, we're going to select our uh, Snow Leopard drive. As I wanted to backup the entire drive, I have selected the whole drive. And on the target, we're going to select the backup drive that we have just created using the disk utility. And as you can see, this is a bootable drive. So if anything happens to your uh, original drive, you can just uh, attach this to your Mac. And this is a complete uh, uh, exact copy of your drive. And you can even boot with the same. And I'm selecting backup everything. And uh, once these are selected, you just hit this clone button. It's going to uh, ask you for your administrative password. And now it's actually backing up. It's actually not backing up, sorry. It's cloning your drive from my Snow Leopard 1 terabyte. That's my main drive to this backup drive. Based upon your data, it might take from anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes. Also, I wanted to mention that the backup drive that you have attached should have sufficient space so that you are able to copy the entire data. For example, my main uh, Mac drive is one terabyte drive, but I'm using just a 80 GB backup drive because this is a test machine and I do not have much data towards it. So if you have about 250 GB of data on your Mac drive, you need the backup drive 
to be approximately uh, at least 250 GB. Many people have the misconception that you need the same size drive to clone. That's not the case. Uh, for example, right now you're seeing uh, I'm using a one terabyte drive. That's my main drive. And my backup drive is just 80 GB because my data is uh, just about uh, 35 to 40 GB. And the carbon copy cloner has completed the cloning. It took approximately 20 GB to back up my 42 GB of data. Now uh, just press OK. You can close this carbon co copy cloner. And I suggest that you unmount the backup drive and disconnect it and keep it at a safe place. And when if you like to restore from that, you can just connect it and you can boot from that drive. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, please click on the like button given below. I'll be doing a couple of more videos later on on the uh, OSX line for the next few days. That's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.